Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4. Uh, when we last left off, uh, we had just completed Subway World, as it's called in the save menu, which is kind of strange. Um, yes, and uh, Cynthia, uh, our friend that offered us a special favour, uh, who actually we saw in IRL, uh, through that window going into the subway was murdered in the other version oh there's a thing under the door there uh, was murdered in the other version of um reality known as the other world which is kind of strange because like i mean that's an alternate reality for silent hill but but we're not in silent hill i don't know it's a bit weird um, but we're going to explore. Anyway, so she was found murdered at the end um, with some numbers carved into her chest, which was, yeah, uh, interesting. Um, I guess she's been murdered. And we also discovered the ghosts and um, how they pissed me off a little bit when I first encountered them, but they're not that bad. Um, I have been given some tips from you guys which I will be taking on board. Um, at the time of recording this episode, I've got the first three... Is it four episodes uploaded? And I don't know how many um, episodes of this game that I'm going to record today, so just bear in mind, if you try and give me any hints, which I do like, I love getting to... Uh, tips? Tips and hints. Not story spoilers, but tips. Uh, also been told by blind man not to pick up the doll okay that's cool anyway let's continue so yeah back from subway town um let's see what's going on here there's a scrap of red paper stuck here hmm. though the cult itself is gone i'm sure the spirit of it's still alive the cult Are they talking about the silent hill cult i'm not sure there are too many strange things happening in that town uh, I'm investigating two people, or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. Ah, you put the red diary, April 8th, into your scrapbook. Okay, so somebody is investigating two people that are one? Is it, is it, is it two people that have a split personality? I'm not sure. Also, this pad here keeps tricking me out because if you remember the original Silent Hill that's how we saved the game um I guess now we just I need to turn my headphone up it's very quiet when only when you're in the um the apartment there's really not a lot going on can we spy on our next door neighbor Eileen can we see what she's up to again oh yeah she's there we got a nice upskirt shot as well She has no idea what's going on. And that teddy's bizarre. But she is looking outside our window. Or should we say her window? So maybe we should do the same. I don't know if we can look outside these windows. Let's have a little look. What's she looking at? I can't open the window until a few days ago. It was no problem. Okay, so we can't look out those windows. But she is indeed home. Uh, maybe we should jiggle our stuff around as well because we've got a lot of... Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of bullets. So what do we get? We've got the Lynch Street uh, line coin. Yeah, so that... Uh, do, we, do we still like need that? I mean, there's still two items to get down there. Temptation play card. Play card from the subway world. It shows a woman and says temptation. Okay. Let's put down some bullets. Let's just keep like one reload with us. Uh, I mean, I don't, are we going to need that? I suppose if we need that, we can always come back. I'd rather free up inventory space, to be honest. Okay. We'll hold on to those coins, just in case. Oh, we don't need those coins anymore, though, do we? Because we've got alternate routes. Okay, well... It, like, <laughs> trouble is, the way I record things, it's been 
well, over a week since I've played, so you, you have to bear with me. All right, well, let's have a little look in here. Oh! There's the hole. So let's go back into the hole. Let's see where it takes us this time. The hole's, get, the hole's getting bigger. Huh. That's kind of strange. Hmm. So we're going to come out of the same place. Now there is four endings to this game. And we're going to try and get it, them all. There's two good endings, two bad endings from what I can understand. Oh. So we're somewhere different now. This looks a little bit like the path going into Silent Hill from Silent Hill 2. I really want to play Silent Hill 2 again. Maybe we'll do that soon. Alright, yeah, so we definitely. Yeah, this definitely looks like the path to Silent Hill. Now, do we have a map? Always check behind you. I always find in games that they're quite good at like putting stuff behind you. Right now, I'm trying to remember the buttons. So B is the dodge button, I remember, and A charges up your attack. I'm really not happy with the fact that Silent Hill 2 is not compatible with the Xbox 360. I'm... Because I've got to buy an Xbox One original. I could get it on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, you're fucked either way. I've either got to buy the game again on the PlayStation 2, or I've got to buy an Xbox. Ugh. I could just do the PC version, I suppose, but I've heard it's not very good. Right. And it's also very expensive on the PC. This writing, what does it mean? Uh, I don't know. What does it say? I can't read this writing. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I also kept getting his name wrong as well in the previous video, which I apologise for. We are Henry, of course. Ooh. We've got wolves, and we've got... Okay, we do have our map drawing out, which is nice. So there's a hole to return here, which is always good to know. And there definitely isn't as many, like, item pickups. I think what really sucks most about wanting to play these games again is this looks quite nice, okay, emulating this on the 360. In fact, it looks very sharp and very nice. I want to play these games in HD. Because they do look really nice, or an easy way to play them, I should say. Danger, do not enter. Well, I think we kind of have to enter. So where the fuck is this place? Oh, we've got a hole there. We're not going to enter the hole. Alright. Let's have a little poke around. Ooh. Some kind of barrel storage. Sewage plant, maybe? Ooh, fuck. Uh, okay, I don't know what the fuck they are. Giant, like, beetle things. Oh. Okay, well, they're not... Okay, they're not that hard to destroy. <laughs> I love that stock sound effect. Oh, they're really not that hard to destroy. Okay. That's fair. And here's me expecting the... Uh... Oh, fucking hell. Come here, you dick. Yeah, I was expecting the um, melee combat to be awful at hitting these guys, but it's actually really not. There we go. It actually works fairly well. Right, we've got some bullets here. We'll have them. Take the pistol bullets. Yes. It gives us 30 rounds. I want to be really careful with a pistol, though, because, like, I mean, is it good? Ammo for it is very rare. Ah, we've got more bugs. I mean, I guess we're just going to save the pistol. Come here, you flying little turd. I guess we're just going to save the pistol for uh, bosses. But how do we know when we're coming up against a boss? Well, I guess, I guess we'll run into it and die, won't we? There we go. Now, I wonder if, like, all the enemies, apart from the ghosts, if these guys are going to stay dead. Oh, what the hell? What is this stuff? What could they have been making? Uh, I don't know, buddy. I wouldn't worry about it too much. 
because this is a warped version of wherever the hell we are. This is probably some normal sewage plant or something. But obviously, in Silent Hill, or evil version of reality, it's all going to be a little bit weird. Do these things even attack us? I actually don't know. But I don't really want to find out one way or another. There's a lot of them, though. Fuck off, man. Get down. And squish. What? Is that a flying rat? Is that literally a flying rat? Kind of hard to make out. This liquid, it reeks so bad it makes my head spin. Uh, yeah, well, don't huff the fumes then, buddy. Come on, Henry. You're supposed to be smarter than that. Uh, nothing here. Is that a door up here? Yeah, it kind of looks like it might be a door, but no. The map is so weird, I can't work it out. Like, sometimes... And the controller's disconnected. Sometimes it goes straight into the map. And sometimes it takes you into this screen. But I don't know what the methodology behind it is. It's not like double... Okay, double tapping there worked. Double tapping there did not work. Okay, yeah, I have no idea. I might look it up. Okay, well, what have we got? At least there's no ghosts yet. Those ghosts are really irritating. Especially because uh, I like to explore everything. I like to look in every corner, every nook, and every cranny. I don't know, this place is weird. I've got like trees and stuff now. Ways you can't really do that when you're being chased by those bloody ghosts. We've got a car. A car that's still running. The door open. Hello. It stopped with the brake pedal engaged. There are all sorts of things scattered on the seat. Amongst the trash is a scrap of paper with something written on it. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whatever. I come to a but whenever I come to a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get real thirsty. Jasper. Don't know who there's a memo pad in here too. Don't know who Jasper is. I'm not sure what that no, uh, nosy guy meant when he said his home is the orphanage in the middle. The lake is northwest, so the opposite is southeast. The nosy guy said one other thing I don't understand. If you bring the dug up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. If you bring the dug up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Does that mean if we pick up a key, we can't return home? We have to put it somewhere before we can go back. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to have certain sections when we can't return home, I guess. Anything in the boot? I guess not. Yeah, we don't call it a trunk in the UK. We call it a boot. And we also don't call the front engine cover a um, hood either. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, there's more writing on that. Now we call it a bonnet. There's weird writing here too. Okay. So somebody was doing something funky here. But what? Is that the guy that was investigating two people? Oh, hello. Oh, an actual person. Right, I'll be with you in a second, my friend. I'm just uh, having a little look around for goodies. Doesn't look like there's any goodies. Is that car yours? Yeah, so that's the guy. But I was the one who found the stone first. In the old days, maybe 
natives called it na Nakihona. They used it in a, a, a ceremony for, for talking with their dead ancestors. And now those, those guys are, are using it too. Call, call it the Mother Stone. They're just uh, uh, up, up ahead in that, that weird building op operating some kind of crazy re religious cult. They, they used to c c collect or orphans and, 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 and d did things to them. Oh dear. You seem to have... Kind of gives you the chill, chills, huh? This stone. You seem to have lost your marble, sir. Um, okay. So this stone, you can talk to the dead with it. The Indians used it. Okay. And we do have a crazy cult. But I guess that guy that we just found is not the de uh, detective guy. But he did own that car. So that mystery solved. So who's the nosy guy, I wonder? Ooh. Hello. Ooh, we have dags. You like dags? Come on, dag. Boop. Ooh, you you can move, sir. You can move. Ooh, knocked you for six. Come at me, you bastard. Nice try, doggy. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Boom. Ah, uh, we got another one. Come on. Yeah, he's down. He's down. He's down. Come on, squish. Doggy gets the kick. I say doggy. It's more like a... Uh oh. More like a cross between a dog and a giant cat. Definitely getting a little bit better at this combat system. Alright, squish him. Squish him. Nice. What the... Oh, he's drinking the blood. From the other one. Ah oh, man. These guys don't actually seem to attack you unless you attack them. Which is interesting. It's very interesting actually. Come on, buddy. Dance with me. Dance with me. Shit, I actually took a hit there. Trying to be too cocky. He's down. So two fully charged up No, three fully charged up attacks do put those guys down. Good to know. I really want to use the handgun, but I don't want to waste the bullets. Alright, well, I guess when walking in the woods... Oh, fuck. Carry a... What the... F fuck. Well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't walk through there. Alright, so this place is going to be trapped. Good to know. And what the hell? Is that... Is that are there kids buried in the sand? Or buried in the ground? God knows. Yeah, so when when walking in the woods, carry a big pipe, I guess. Ooh. More pooches. I wonder if the gun's actually any good against these. Ah, yes. Yeah, sit down, you fool! Really? Come on. Oh my good god. They didn't even try, did they? There we go. There's one. Now this is going to get tasty. This is going to get tasty. Okay, double hit. That's what we wanted. Yes! Come on. Full power. Yes! One down. Okay, cool. Kill it! On to the next. Alright. So we can kind of batter them away. All right, not bad. I right, come here, last one. Yeah, you drink. Drink of your friend. <laughs> You're gonna get my pipe up your ass. Why did that sound really wrong? Oh, I wonder if if they drink. Squish. If they drink, does that heal them? I wonder. Hmm. If they're like long, like worm-like tongues. Really weird. Okay. 
Now, we did read a note in the beginning that mentioned umbilical cords quite a lot, and that got me to thinking about that big worm thing that we saw down in Subway Town. Silent Hill Smile Support Society. Wish House. Oh! So this is Silent Hill. Ah, okay. The Wish House. Uh, that's the orphanage run by the cult, huh? Yeah, what? Silent Hill Wish House. Yeah. So I want to type, there's a hole there that we can go back to. Let's go have a little poke around, see if there's any goodies here. This game still does look remarkably good though, guys. It really does. Okay. So I'm guessing we're going to have like ghosts maybe in here? I don't know. Looks like graffiti drawn by a kid. Yeah, it's not really graffiti though, is it? When you think about it, buddy. All right, so we've got another door there. We are going to go back and regen our health before we move on. I do like the atmosphere here. It's really cool. Look at all the toys, man. These areas look very, like, interesting. I think they're smaller areas as well. I think, like, Silent Hill 2 had rather big areas. This one's a lot more um, linear, I think, with the loading screens. Yeah, let's go back for now. We'll go back and we'll go drop a save. <laughs> Should be able to skip this. And we do have a note as well that I want to read in a minute. Right, whilst we're regening our health. I do like the fact we can skip that. We don't have to read that. Let's have a look. So, first letter. Mum, why don't you wake up? Oh, how do we... How do we scroll through it? Is that all there is? Book scrap. Yeah, here we go. There was something here somewhere. Where was... Okay, do, I wonder if we've missed something then. Do we not pick up that thing with the umbilical cord? Can we use the phone? Ooh. What was that number that was carved into her chest? Shit. Was that a phone number? I know I should have written that down. <sighs> you would have thought an important number like that would have been written down. I'll, um, one second, guys. I'm going to find out, find that out. Hey, guys. Right, we're back. Uh, I've just gone to save the game, and after coming back, and the phone is ringing, which is curious, so I thought I'd quickly record it. Um, I, so I look back at my video, and the number on her chest was 16 slash 21, so that's not a phone number surely so we're gonna go back uh, I did look out the window though and I found another phone number written on one of the billboards so we're gonna give that a ring so what's going on here oh that's not our phone ringing okay well we'll try this one anyway 555 uh, this is uh, on one of the billboards outside the window. I didn't even know you could use the phone. I'm sure we're probably going to find other numbers throughout the game. <sighs> that noise just now. What was that? Um, well, I mean, that was worth it. I lied. Alright. Where's that ringing coming from? Oh, 
Oh, is that our doorbell? Oh! Help me! Help! Let me out of here! Silene. There's something going on in this room. Well, yeah. What do you mean? I heard weird noises coming from inside there. Help! Hey, Hookie. Can you see anything from your window? No. Everything looks pretty normal to me. Well, he sounds like an ass. Lives here. What's he like, anyway? I'm gonna go call the super. Yeah. Good idea. Damn it. They can't hear me. Alright. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what that was. I thought that was our phone. Okay. So, Eileen and a guy called Richard checking up on us. Gonna go call the super. Probably a good idea. Can we go spy on her again? Yeah, she's not there. I've heard of an Easter egg. Um, I don't know if we've missed it or if it rotates. Apparently, um, if we uh, see her laying on the bed, we have to like watch her for 10 minutes and then she does something. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can trigger that. I haven't read what she does, but apparently it's worth the wait, which... Mm. <laughs> mm, all right, all right. Let's go back. Anyway, we've saved the game. Uh, what have we got in our inventory? We've got two loads of bullets. That's fine. Let's go back. I get the feeling there's a lot in this game, and from what I've also read, looking it up now again, I've looked up things about this game, but I have not looked up story elements, characters plot points. I've only looked up uh, secrets and well I found a whole page of secrets just trying to find some phone numbers uh, which is where I found the uh, look outside at the billboard thing but I haven't looked up anything spoilery or, or like puzzle solutions or whatever oh it's locked okay Ah, so I guess that's... I guess we need the key for that. The buried key. I'm guessing we can't go back home without with that key in our possession. Alright. Ooh, blood. I've read that there's a chainsaw we can get, like, on our third playthrough of the game. Which is interesting. Oh, we got dags! We also got an awful camera angle. There we go. Right, any goodies? Oh man, I don't like the camera angle. It's it's useless. Right, so there's that. Like, say what you... Like, I mean, seriously? Is that meant to be the way the camera angle performs? Or is it just getting stuck behind a tree? Alright, what's here? There's just like a load of random blood. Alright. Can't seem to do anything with that. Like Silent Hill 2, I don't remember. Or, 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 or Silent Hill... Ah, oh, fucking hell. Or Silent Hill um, 3, for that matter. I don't remember like any camera angle problems. Alright, you fuckers. Looks like we do have ghosts, after all. Which is... Irritating. Oh, we got Return. There as well. So these return home spots are pretty common, but then I suppose it makes sense that they're common, considering how frequent you you seem to run into enemies that just sap your health for the sake of it. Alright, so what have we got here? So it looks like the only way to go forwards from here is through here. Oh, is this, is this place going to be like completely stuffed with ghosts now? Oh, man. No, we've got a kid. All right. Hey, little boy. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Ah, that's the weird guy. You're finally the 
third revelation. Something's gonna happen. That nosy guy that was here, he said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's been drinking the Kool Aid. I think uh, he's uh, looking to join the cult. I want to say the cult of Osiris. If anybody knows who the cult of Osiris are, or if anyone gets that reference, uh, well done. Because <laughs> that's pretty obscure. Oh, we got... We got a number. A grave has been dug here. On the bottom of the coffin are the numbers... One, one... I'm going to write that down. On the bottom of the coffin are the numbers triple one two one. Uh, so coffin number one 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 two one. What world is this? Make a wish, I suppose. Ah, uh, just leave it like that. Okay, so I thought that was 11 slash 21 then, which would have been a similar number to what Cynthia had carved into her tits. I can't read this writing. Okay, fair dues. Right, so it looks like we've got... Okay, I thought we had lots of different ways to go from from here, but it looks like actually there's only one. I guess we can't go through there. There's a cliff on the other side of the fence. I can't go any further. All right. Fair play, Mr. Townsend. Are we Townsend? Oh, locked from the outside. I can't open it. Okay. That looks like that symbol from Silent Hill 3. The save symbol. Which was the cult symbol, if I'm remembering correctly. Which I might not be. Um. Okay, that's not a door. It looks like a door, but... Yeah. So let's go back through here then. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's a well. It's too dark to see. Is that a hint that we can do something with the well? Too dark to see. We don't have any source of light. At least not yet, anyway. That's a good point. We don't have a flashlight or anything. You always have a flashlight in Silent Hill, don't you? Silent Hill 1, yes. Silent Hill 2, yes. Silent Hill, yeah, yeah, you always have a flashlight. I've just thought about that. Hmm. wonder if we get one later on. Though it seems a bit weird to not have one uh, to start with. Okay, what time are we on, guys? We're actually on half an hour, so I'm going to save it here. Um, when we come back, we're going to go through the other, the other door. So we've got a coffin number, which is curious. I wonder if we can ring the coffin number. Let's put it into the phone, see what happens. Might as well whilst we're here. Pretty sure nothing's going to happen, but... I think it's worth a go. I mean, try it once, am I right? So it was one, 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 two. Yeah. Yeah, so nothing. Okay, fair enough. I didn't think that would do anything, but it was worth a go, god damn it. Gonna be bloody speed running this game by the time we come to get our fourth ending. I also think I know how to get the endings. I'm not 100% sure because I don't want to look anything up. Um, I mean, we'll get whatever ending we get at the end of this playthrough. Um, I know there's something I've got to do because I think, was it Sean said so in the comments? Uh, you said you'll warn me before I do it. But I don't know how far ahead. 
uh, these videos will be by that time. So, yeah, I mean, what I'm going to do in that case, because I only have X amount of time to sit down and record. Um, if I recorded, like, one video every couple of days, well, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I have to sit down and record my videos in batches. Because um, I only get two days off a week that I can realistically use. That's if I don't have anything out, any other things like friends and, you know, the misses wanting to do stuff. Uh, so I have to batch record, otherwise I'd probably upload one video a month. Um, but yeah, I, th I think what we're going to do, we're going to get whatever ending we can, unless you comment and tell me, like, before I finish or before the event happens. Um, and then what I do is at the end of this playthrough, I will look up and see what we need to do to get the other, other endings. So anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. When we come back, we're going to go check out the other door and uh, I'm guessing look for a dug key, but then I don't know. Do we need a shovel or something? I'm not sure, but am I enjoying this game? Yeah, actually I really am. Um, I, I mean, it's different. It, it's not Silent Hill that we've known and loved from the first trilogy, but in the same way that Resident Evil Revelations wasn't really Resident Evil that we knew and loved, but it was still a good, fun game, you know? So uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.